Hello, so I'm going to go over um, Anchor FM a little bit, which is the tool that I use to create podcasts. And um, my, my if my speech is a little off, forgive me. Um, my wisdom teeth are really acting up today, so um, I have them scheduled to be removed this Thursday, so that's always fun. Anyways, so first you go to Anchor FM. Let's kind of start from the beginning on this. So Anchor FM is the easiest way to make a podcast and, you know, you can do it from your phone and I, I agree. It is a very easy um, uh, system to use to create podcasts and it's easy to share on podcast platforms such as iTunes and Spotify and whichever other ones exist out there. So I'm going to log in and let's see. And you can have multiple podcasts. Um, you just need separate emails. So I have like actually two podcasts um, that I do. One is Hawking College Computer Science News, and the other one's called Bytes and Bits. And two, they're both down on Anchor. I just you know log in with them, it's different emails. So you can have as many as you want. Um, yeah. So let's see. So here is my dashboard. I'm talking about Hawking College Computer Science News. And last night. Um, as you can see, you know, I'm, I'm still in the very early stages of figuring out how to do a podcast and do well in performance and all that stuff. So I'm not saying that I'm the go-to person for that. Um, I do need to invest some more time and effort into promotion and, you know, increasing the performance of it. But, you know, little steps, right? So last night I recorded a podcast. Um, other things that it tells me somebody's in India listening to it, and that's cool. Apple Podcast, um, Anchor. So it looks like most of them are using Apple. Um, I'm assuming that means through iTunes. Okay, yeah. And then iPhone, and then Mac. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. So the episodes. Uh, so episodes. So I recorded an episode last night and I had actually scheduled for release um, later on this evening. And it's about six minutes long. You see a lot of these aren't very long. Um, I actually have this, um, this particular podcast, Hawking College Computer Science News, embedded into um, an Alexa skill a flash briefing through the RSS feed. And so the intent is not to make them that long. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to view episode details. Okay, so not enough data yet. Da, 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 da. And one of the things that I like about um, Anchor is the fact that you can you can record different components. Like your podcast um, does not have to be one continuous flow of you talking. If you ever listen to other podcasts, you can you can hear like there's a distinction between like the introduction, um, the content, and the closing, um, whether it be a call to action or whatever it is. Um, so you can kind of do a prefab introduction and closing. You know, so it's the same th same thing every time whenever anybody listens to a podcast, which helps make sure that you're saying all the stuff you want to be saying without having to you know play the memory game um, that you're. Did you just get it right every, first time every time? And then like and then you have the content, which is what I have in the middle. I just named it January 6th because that was yesterday. And you can see the intro is like 22 seconds long. The content is six minutes long. And the closing is 27 seconds long. And the total is six, um, six minutes and 59 seconds. So I don't really want to edit the audio. Okay, so here's where I want to go. So <clears throat> when you're in the platform, when you um, uh, I was using it last night using my iPhone, but when you're in the platform, you can, you know, put little information like um, the, the title of it and, you know, the, the, the details or the description of it. And sometimes it's a little tedious to put it on your phone. And it was, I don't know, around 9 o'clock at night, 9.33. And, um, oh, that's scheduled. When it's scheduled to come. It was about 9 o'clock last night when I was scheduled, when I was doing this. I didn't feel like getting my laptop out. It was battery was dead and uh, I didn't feel like it. 
So it's a new year and we're starting. So I have on my description, it's a new year and we're starting this for this first podcast this year, discussing our new project PWAs, which is progressive web apps and the service workers that make them happen. So what I need to start doing and getting the habit of um, is putting a little bit, some um, links in there uh, just so people can go to and look at them whenever they're wanting to look at something that I'm talking about. So one of the things um, that I was mentioning well, was that we were utilizing um, a book, uh, a book called "Going Offline" from a publisher called A Book Apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up. So if you're not familiar with A Book, book Apart, um, I highly recommend them. Most books, if you do the eBooks, which is the only thing I've done, are about. 14 bucks and they're bite size. Um, I call them bite size. Uh, I don't know. There's another term that they use, but it's just, it's a little more smaller content, which is easier to understand and read. And it's not as overwhelming because of all kinds of different content. It just kind of focuses on one particular subject matter. Like the one that I'm getting ready to talk about. It's like, you know, going offline focus on one particular subject matter. So um, this is a book apart. So I'm going to do is copy that URL and want to go back in here. And it says it's a new year. We're starting this first podcast this year, discussing our new project PWAs and the service workers that make them happen. Um, the will be using an ebook from an ebook titled going off line from a book apart um let's see i'll put something else on like you know a book if you're looking for some extra ways to learn about new stuff and web dev i highly recommend them check them out at okay. so as you can see i need to get better on this stuff right here but it's pretty much what we talked about um you know, in the podcast, so it's a new year. We're starting off the first podcast this year, discussing our new project PWAs um, and the service workers that make them happen. So we'll be using ebook, an ebook titled um, Going Offline from a Book Apart. If you're looking for some extra ways to learn about new stuff and web dev, I highly recommend them. Check them out. Ah, da, da, da. Okay. So. That gives some content, I guess, a link, um, which hopefully will be helpful to, any, helpful to anybody listening to the podcast. Um, then I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, we didn't really talk too much about anything. It was like a new year, new podcast, and all that stuff. So it's scheduled to be published. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change it to, I'll change it to now. Reset to now. Ah, didn't see that. Okay. Um, so uh, season one, episode six, uh, full, it's, it's clean, doesn't have any explicit material. Um, I kind of like this art. I played with it a few different times. I like it. I'm sticking with it for the moment. And then hit publish now. And let's see, I need to work on sponsorships on this. I need to figure out how that works. Uh, and... That is pretty much it. It's published. Um, I recorded on my iPhone last night. I added a little bit more content on it that I just didn't feel like trying to maneuver with my um, iPhone. And it's it's done. That's it. It's free. Um, and it's available on iTunes and other stuff. Where's the other stuff? available in somewhere
Okay, available on eight platforms. I knew you saw that somewhere. So, where's the platforms? I'm gonna pause this while I look for a platform. Okay, I'm back. I paused it because I wasn't sure why I wasn't finding it. Okay, so it's not in the dashboard, it's under settings and distribution. And it has your RSS, which is unique for this particular podcast. And then how it's really easy to um, add your podcast to. There's Anchor, there's Spotify, there's Apple, there's Breaker, never heard of it. Google, Overcast, Pocket Cast, some of these I've never heard of, um, but evidently they exist. So um, that's how you can edit um, a podcast that you recorded on your iPhone or any kind of mobile device. So and uh, there's something interesting you can do with this RSS feed. I'll make another video showing how you can take that um, and create an Alexa skill with it, a flash briefing. So if you have any questions, um, let me know and thank you.